Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bob Ward and welcome to this inbox review. We're going to be taking a look at the um, Rufi, which is the dual combo 148 scale by Eddard. It's a nice limited edition uh, kit that we've got just here, very much based on the Zero. They're fantastic Zero they did, um, I think it was New Tool 2022 or early um, 2023. But yes, I've already done that nice step-by-step -step on it if you wanted to go check that out. Um, and it built absolutely beautiful. Um, no, hardly any fit issues or anything like this. So this is a uh, not just a re-box of that, but it's it's the um, the seaplane version. So we get a, a nice couple of extra bits to it. Um, there is a duo, so these are duplicate pieces, which um, I've took all the, the duplicate ones out over there. So let's just jump right in and see what we've got with all our main plastic just here. So um, the fuselage, right, is gorgeous as always from Eddard. We're gonna have that absolutely sublime, gorgeous um, recess panel line, recess rivet work. As you can see, you know, you just cannot fault how gorgeous that is. That is the beauty of and odd right surface detail is a definite um, 11 out of 10 as you can see both sides looking spot on um, on the inside um, don't have to worry about any eject pin marks there is one or two but they're not in places you're going to see them we've got a little bit of rib work just there but um, i do know that a lot of this cockpit is, is built in its own little tub and fits in there so um, good one on that um, yes we do have a bit of the tail section here again surface detail consistent throughout this here is just like a nice little guide to build your engine cowl up so as um, it's all nicely lined up you don't actually use it you kind of just use it as a guide and then you pop it out and your engine cowls all um, well pieced together and nicely lined up um, we then have right all of this just here which is um our engine area all right we have all our lovely engine detail just there we've even got our uh, wheel well detail which again loads of lovely detail it kind of builds up into like a um a box shape so you get more detail on it rather than being one piece um the bottom end of our fuselage section just there which does have um, raised rivets feeling yeah raised rivets where they're due which is should be some nice cool detail a bit more cockpit detail just here a bunch of dials radio equipment and all that good stuff as well as that rib work as well going on all very very crisp right we have our instrument display panels as well again looking very crisp and we got them blanked out for photo etch where it's needed as well um, the seat itself right we've got some nice little holes in there giving it some nice detail also um and yes there's a couple more little bits and bobs just on there now, where did my wings go i ah, found them here they are uh wing section oh again you just i mean just look at that surface detail um that's, it's just second to none you cannot complain about it at all right absolutely gorgeous um both top and bottom um, port and starboard absolutely gorgeous ailerons as well looking gorgeous as well cannot grumble or complain about that at all um, now this is where we come into the sort of um the extra pieces that you'd get to make this the roughly the 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 seaplane version of the zero and this is where we have the um flotation do you know what? i don't even know what they're called to be honest with you but yeah this is what we have here and again that lovely, ooh, going out of focus a bit there. Oh, sorry, but not focusing right just there. But yeah, same level, crisp, um, consistent detail throughout. All right, looking good there. Um, the port and starboard, um, so we say flotation devices for now. Um, again, same level of detail. Along with, we've got some nice free fall bombs. All right, they're looking good as well. We have, what else have we got? Um, that's basically it on there not too too bad i mean looking rather good um the bottom part as well of our bit of a flotation device just there 
All right, looking good as well. We do also get, um, we've got some wheels here. This is for, it's like um, a trolley system. So as when it's not in the sea, you can have it rolling around as well, which is kind of cool because um, yes, you could do a really cool diorama with this um, actually in the sea. But if you don't, if you don't have this trolley thing, it's just, it's not going to sit right. It's going to sit on its side and be all wonky and stuff. So it's good that they've included that as well. Bit more um, internal detail, right? As you can see, lovely, all sorts of dolls and stuff on there. Well detailed indeed. It does build up to a very, very nice um, cockpit indeed. Uh, eject pin marks, not seeing any of them in any nasty places. Oh, we do get a, a cool little ladder as well to go with that um canopy side of things all right um everything is separately bagged as well so um just keep it all nicely together um and looking at this it is looking very nice clear and crisp we can even see recess rivets and stuff hopefully you might be able to just see those recess rivets as well um around the clear parts also uh, I'll just put up the light just to double check, right? Um, and yeah, it's it's looking pretty nice, crystal clear, no nasty cobweb effects, um, and maybe a little bit of a scuff, maybe packaging and stuff, maybe a um, little bit of a polish up, and they will be absolutely great. Um, then we have uh, a couple of little extras as well as the instructions just here. Well, first off, we have photo etch. Um, which is really good. This is what makes sort of, again, you've got the surface detail with Ed Ard, which is fantastic, but you always kind of get these lovely bits of photo etch to go with it, which we have seat belts, instrument display panels, all sorts of little bits and bobs on there. And we do have two of them for our duo set. Uh, we do also get canopy masks as well. You won't be able to see them on camera, but we've got canopy masks on there. Looks like wheel masks as well which is another good, good bonus. We do have um, two sets of stencils. Also, these are, you know, really good. I have used them, so um, I know they're good for these zeros. And, you know, you can see all the little bits of writing. Then we have sort of like our big marking section, just, just here, which has all our um, roundels and stuff on there. Um, yeah, gonna be really, really good. We also get, you know, and this is the cool thing. You've got the option to paint your instrument display panels, put decals on your instrument display panels. You can use photo etch on them. You know, it, it, they, they cover all the bases, which is uh, what we love about Eddard. Now, the instructions, a bit more than your average instructions. Nice, good color quality paper. Um, but really cool in this one, we do get quite a nice bit of a read, right? We do have... Um, Quite a nice description of the actual aircraft and a lot about it and not just one or two pages we've got quite a nice bit of a write-up on there so a nice bit of a read now the construction of this um, no major fit issues I have built it it goes together like a glove um, you've got all the nice sort of colors and stuff to show you where you might need to say sand detail away to put photo etch on um, tells you all your color call outs as well, which they do um, you know, the guns range. So um, if you're into those paints, those are good paints. So um, it does tell you all of them. Um, and it does guide you through quite nicely. I know sometimes their dart can get a little bit complicated, but they do generally get you there in the end. You do kind of want to go off and pick the markings you want to do because it will sort of... Um, some pieces will be slightly different depending on what markings you choose, but it will sort of indicate that to you as well. Um, so there's the cockpit going together, which um, with this one, you kind of bring your two fuse large halves together and then you kind of pop the um, cockpit um, underneath, which is, is, is um, uh, it's actually rather good. I mean, I think I remember when I was putting it together, it just fits like a glove. So really cool, cool there. Uh, drill some holes if you want to have some bombs, three or four bombs and all that kind of good stuff. Ailerons, you can have them in whatever position you want as well. Now, it does say, it does have these little notes here saying, um, don't forget to add the nose weight balance, right? It keeps saying that in a few places, but it doesn't actually go off and say where exactly to put it 
and how much weight to put in there. So this is a tail sitter aircraft from what them saying, but where to put it is kind of like, you know, you put it wherever and you put as much weight in there as whatever you might guess it might be. So it's gonna be one of them. I'm kind of guessing, you know, put some weight in this nose area here, as well as in our sort of buoyancy devices just here. Um, as far forward as possible and I suppose because they're not telling us how much weight we've got to just whack as much in there just to be on the safe side unless you're doing the diorama because you could probably stick it down um, onto like a nice C diorama um, so you might be able to get away with it that that way um, but yeah the you know simple nice World War II kind of aircraft construction fuselage halves together wing sections together bring your fuselage and your wing section, and you're basically built together. Um, it's then gonna get us to do the engine section, which does look gorgeous. Um, it does, you can see it quite nicely um, on the one I've built. In fact, you know, I probably should get that one out one sec. So here is the one I built. I mean, yes, it doesn't have all that um, buoyancy seaplane kind of added bits to it, right? Um, you probably can't see in the cockpit area, but it does look absolutely gorgeous in there. Really, really nice, nice build. Um, you can see all that lovely detail as well um, in the wheel wells. You could just about see our engine just in there nicely on show. I did have to put a bit of blue tack on there. Um, but yeah, back to the instructions. Yes, you've got your bombs. Um, I don't put any on mine. Um, moving along, we've got, um, see, we've got this piece, the one that you don't glue in. Um, as you can see, you can build up your um engine cowl to get it all nicely lined up and straight which is good um and then we put all this buoyancy aid stuff on there which remember you know put a bit of weight in there as much as you can probably fit in there should be good um coming in along and put in your uh canopy on or off i kind of had mine on did i glue it down yes i did uh, so i can't show you that and then it does show you the construction of this kind of cart that carts this around when it's on the land which is nice that they've added that and it should uh, and as you can see from this picture just here it's what's going to make it on the land kind of be standing up straight rather than conked over um, then we have our masks for actually masking this off which does also look like we have wheel masks as well which is um, good because they can be a pain to spray them or uh, to paint them individually um, then we have the markings which I think we've got about seven or eight markings on here we have the kind of colors that I've used just here nice sort of standard zero as you can see really nice to paint as well I mean you know when it comes to this zero I mean not only was it easy to build no fit issues you know being an all rain sort of spray pattern right the spraying was easy it's such a nice quick easy mojo booster aircraft uh, so it's nice to see it in this um, seaplane configuration as well um, so yeah we've got um, several markings um coming along we then have like a bit of a nice camo version if you try it want to do something a bit more um advanced with your spraying and we've got quite a few of them which i think there's about yeah there's about seven or eight and there's there's quite a few there then we have our stencils on the back so all in all do you know what it's a it's, it's a fantastic kit i mean i've already built the one that isn't the um, the seaplane, um, it does look amazing. The surface detail is absolutely gorgeous. The cockpit is gorgeous. The engine is gorgeous. Um, your, your, your detail in your wheel wells are gorgeous. Just, just everything about this plane is gorgeous. Now this kit in particular is gonna set you back about 60 pounds or 59 pounds 99, um, which I suppose in a way, you know, there is two kits in here, so it's like £30 per kit, which is a pretty damn good price. And the way prices have been going lately in scale modelling, Eddard is still really actually coming out rather nice and cheap. Um, I suppose here in Europe, I know in the US can be a bit of a pain and they can be a bit expensive over there, but they are so, so nice um so yeah um definitely a big thumbs up and a well recommended kit um but as always until next time my name is Bob Walder and this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed